Welcome leaders to the preschool wing. If you're watching this video, then you'll be leading preschoolers either threes, fours, or five-year-olds who haven't gone to kindergarten just yet. I have to tell you that this is my personal favorite area of kids' life to teach. I'm not allowed to have favorites, but this is probably the most fun group of kiddos that you could teach on a Sunday morning or any other time during the week. This is where the foundations of biblical equipping really take place and happen. We want to really mold kiddos' hearts and minds to be tuned in to the words of the gospel and what scripture has to say. So the win here in preschool is that kiddos get a foundational understanding of who Jesus is and what the Bible is. We want them to leave here knowing those two things when they move up to kids' life in their elementary classrooms. The way that we accomplish that is by being really engaging. Dan talked about being on a child's side every Sunday, and that E is really important here in kids' life. You want to be animated and excited and willing to do the activities with the kiddos and get to know them in order to interact with them well. Now, just like any other area in kids' life, you are going to want to follow all of the safety instructions that we've laid out for you in the safety video portion of this training, including all of our procedures with our clipboards and our walkie-talkies. But we do have a couple of things that we just want you to be aware of that pertain to preschooling in regards to safety. If a child in preschool needs to use the bathroom at any point during their lesson, a male leader is not going to be allowed to assist them in the bathroom. Female leaders, that's gonna to fall to us in order to help them. We do this just to be sure that we're keeping our kids safe and we are remaining above reproach in every way possible. Leaders, anytime that you're working with a kiddo, you should keep the door at least cracked open so that we can have a visual on you at some point during the day when you're working in the bathroom. We also have video cameras in these classrooms that are gonna be pointed towards the bathroom so that we can keep that visual as well. Now, male leaders, if you are leading in one of these classrooms, we also ask that you don't let a preschool child sit on your lap just so that we can remain above reproach and be really, really confident for all of our parents that we're taking every aspect to keep our kiddos safe as humanly possible. So those are gonna be two different safety features that are gonna be a little bit different in preschool as far as kids' life goes. So again, no male leaders are gonna be in the bathrooms, women only, and please keep that door at least cracked open. If you're comfortable with it, at least keeping it six inches open is truly, truly ideal. And know that there is a camera on you at all times. Men, we wanna make sure that in the same vein of thought, we don't have kiddos sitting in our lap on a Sunday or any time that you're serving. Now, the rest of our safety measures are gonna be applicable to our preschool classes as well. And then another element to our preschool care is that we do have a lesson involved in their Sunday morning. So on a Sunday morning, you will have a lesson video that'll be on your Roku TV for you to use. Some teachers like to use their Roku TV for the lesson. They'll have everyone sit on the carpet and turn on their video lesson or they like to read it out loud. Either way is fine with Dan and I, as long as the gospel is being preached and kiddos are getting to learn the lesson for the day. Speaking of the lesson, you can find everything that you need to know about that week's lesson on your class's one sheet. This is gonna be located on Planning Center under Files for every week. We have the title of the lesson, the memory verse, and the big picture question. This is just gonna be the big theme that we're talking about for a couple of weeks. So for example, our current big picture question is why does sin separate us from God? Well, the answer to that is because God is holy. And both the question and the answer are gonna be on your one sheet. Along with your welcome time, your Bible story, as well as your activities. We try to do three activities every Sunday in preschool. Now, if you get all of those done, great. If you get one of those done, fantastic. But the main goal of preschool is to make sure that we get that lesson done. So if you get through one activity, all of the activities, no activity. As long as our story is being taught and kids are learning the gospel through that, Dan and I consider that a win of a Sunday. There are just some crazy Sundays out there. We know that. You will come to know that too as you lead in kids' life. Now we do use a rotation for all of our activities, so they should become familiar to you over the weeks as you serve alongside of us. And you'll be able to know, oh, this week we're playing with shakers, or we're going to be playing hopscotch for our memory verse, something along those lines. And we do have kind of an abbreviated version of our memory verse on the top of your one sheet as well. So just know that this is gonna be your one-stop shop for everything that you're gonna do on a Sunday. Please be sure to review this before you come in on a Sunday morning. If 
you work through your entire one sheet and let's say you did all of your activities and then you did your activities again because kids love repetition and you still need something to do with your kids, we do have a list of games located on the bulletin board behind me. That's gonna have a list of nine Kids Life approved games that you can read through and easily play with the supplies that you have around you in your classroom. So please feel free to use those at any time if you need to, even if you just need to grab kiddos' attention and redirect them to you. Speaking of grabbing a kiddo's attention, anytime you're in a preschool classroom, if you need the children to focus or refocus back on you, a couple of really great uh, tools, to be frank, tools that we use, we have kiddos repeat a clapping pattern, we have kiddos clap if they can hear our voices, so clap once if you can hear me, clap twice if you can hear me, clap three times, so on and so forth. Or we'll have kiddos do what we're doing and when we know that they're seeing us is when they're doing the activity that we're doing. And that's a really easy way that you can get kiddos to look back at you. It can also be helpful to have them repeat instructions. This further puts what you want from them in their, in their brains and in their memories so that your expectations are really clear. Again, our three R's do apply in our preschool classes just like they do with everybody else. So if you have an issue with reminding and reseating a child, you can always walkie Dan or myself or one of the interns and let us know that we need to come and talk to a child and potentially remove a child for a time being so that they can have a break and come back when their brain is rested and ready for the rest of the activities. Now, if during an activity you do have an injury of some kind in your cubby, you will have a full first aid kit as well as bandages that you can use. So anything that's just a cut, a scrape, a small, small bruise, you can feel free to use those tools for and then just let mom and dad know what happened when they come for pickup. If you have an incident happen where you have to call Dan and I on the walkie talkie and have first aid applied to a child at our first aid station, you do have a red folder located in your cubby that you'll fill out using our incident reports. You'll leave our incident reports on our clipboards for the end of service times that Dan and I will pick up then. You wanna make sure that a parent signs this when you explain to them what happened to a child. So an example of this would be any kind of head injury, um, an injury involving more than a small cut or scrape, anything that has any major bruising. We've not had anything like that happen specifically on a Sunday morning. Most of the time, those kinds of in injuries usually happen during rec time at BBS, full disclosure, but we do wanna make sure that you have access to those things if you need them. Your cubby is also going to have everything else that you need on a Sunday, including all of your craft supplies and any activity supplies that you would need for your activities on your one sheet. The last thing that you should know is that anytime your one sheet or your lesson asks you to play music, we do ask that you go ahead and play music on Spotify, Apple Music, whatever you prefer on your cell cellular device. We'll eventually have Alexas that you can hook up to in each classroom, but for now we'll just use our handy dandy cell phones. If um, you do choose Spotify, for example, we wanna make sure that the music is age appropriate worship music. So for example, my personal favorite is Shane and Shane Worship in the Word. You can't go wrong with that and the kiddos really do love it. So anytime you need music, please feel free to use your phone. We're gonna keep it away for the rest of the time, but use your phone and play some age appropriate worship music. That's a rundown of everything that you need to know about preschool. If you have any additional questions or you'd like to know some of Dan and I's tips and tricks, please feel free to reach out.